Here's my Renogy 100 watt monocrystalline panel. Hopefully it's coming in clear. I just, the camera's adjusting. I'm just using a GoPro 3. Bought this back in April of last year. So just about 10 months I've had this up here. First time I've checked on it, it's been doing good. Made a mess, bolting it in and just straight to the roof, but it's no, there's no leaks. There's that. We'll go inside and take a look at the rest of the system. Sails on it. The frame was quite nice, but let's go check out the inside. My trusty kerosene heater next to all my fuel jugs so they don't get too cold. Uh, the wire just runs down the side, other side of the roof and comes in through there. If you can see that. Uh, got a little drip loop on the other side, nothing excited. Just runs along the rafters. Got to get a little vent hole too so we can get, get some air for the heater for when it sets my fuel jugs on fire. It runs down behind this panel into my charge controller here. No breakers yet, just uh, fuses uh, so far. Uh, 10 gauge wire everywhere. It's just what come with the kit. Well, 30 foot, 30 foot wire kit, and I cut it some, but then 10 gauge wire and fuse down to the battery. Um, just the one pan on the load, and ran it quite a bit last night. And of course, the regular PWN charge controller. Ran it down quite low tonight. It got mostly charged, but I've been running it some today. 12.5, not bad. I've been running a lot off of it today. Got my, my lights, three of them right now. They're the uh, Utilitech uh, from Lowe's. Uh, LED shop lights. Charging my laptop. It's just a modified sine wave inverter, 2000 watt. Running that. Um, it does pretty good. It's charged it up today mostly just about i ran it pretty low last night like i said but eh, i think it can get a little more out of this we'll take a look here and see what i'm talking about so here we have my cheapy harbor freight special meters plugged in to the solar panels we're getting uh 12.6 out of the panels, which is pretty good considering how late it is. And then let that little PWM kick in. And oh, you see that voltage drop? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I want to move up to a MPPT charge controller. But I mean, it does, all right, it does charge the batteries. It does what it's supposed to do. Um, get the larger batteries. It's a little bit harder on it, takes a little bit longer, but I mean, it good sunny day I can if I didn't run them down too much I can just about top my little battery bank off I ain't got nothing major I got three batteries are back here a little battery lifesaver on it and uh, they're just clamped on for right now and then three of uh, the chrome 35 amp hour batteries back here all wired in parallel a little 12 volt system so 105 amp hours total and uh, it does pretty good. Uh, would I recommend it? How would I think about it? It's a good system for the money. I think it beats the shit out of the uh, Harbor Freight deals. I mean, 100 watts versus 45 watts. It still produces. I've had it 10 months, not the first hiccup. I really ain't got a whole lot in it, and I've gotten quite a bit out of it. I can run, uh, with these three batteries, I can run a both my compressors had a little small, it's not a pancake one, but it's a little bit bigger than that, and then a big 20 gallon one. I run both of them off that 2000 watt inverter. The, the big one's a little issue starting up, but once it's going, it's fine. Um, the small one, it's, it's no problem. I'm running all kinds of little power tools out here, so I feel like I'm getting a good bit on my investment back. Um, the uh, I really don't have much, like I said. I bought the uh, 100 watt kit from Renogy off of e uh, Amazon. I paid, I think, $185 for it uh, back in April of last year. It's February 10th, so like I said, it's right around 10 months I've had it. And uh, not the first problem. 185 came with the panel, 
a little bit of cable, not enough. So whatever the 30 foot cable was, uh, got it. 10 gauge, 10 gauge, 30 foot of 10 gauge with the MC4 connections. Come down here into the charge controller, chain with car charge controller. So from the charge controller, some cable, the mountain, um, and the batteries are 75 each. So that's where a good chunk of it. So I got, I got a little over 400 in it, I guess. Uh, the inverter, <laughs> a couple of issues with it. I straightened them out. Uh, so, I, but I pretty much picked it up for free. The four gauge wire. I'm running a four gauge wire, two hots and two grounds off the batteries. And uh, I already had that, and I got some uh, two alt gauge wire. I might be switching over to when I get a bigger inverter or if I get a bunch of real battery bank, but that's on down the road. I'd like to do some improvements, and uh, just in case you're wondering what I use for the roof, while I'm thinking about it to keep from linking, it's anything like it, it'll probably do good, but if I remember correctly, that's exactly right there what I used. And uh, I said I hadn't had the first bit of leak. It did pretty good. I just cooked the heck out of it underneath the little pads where I bolted the things down. And uh, seems to be pretty good. I thought about if I get more panels, I am thought about rather just doing to the roof or the rail. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, all in all, I think for a, a budget DIY solar, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I'd like to do some more 12 volt lighting in here so I don't have a loss of these. Maybe not the buzz of the little switch mode power supply in there either but uh, they do produce a good amount of light and they're better than the fluorescents I had in here I got three more sockets available for three more lights and I'll just have three lights in here at the moment but it does pretty good and we'll take a quick look at my old compressors it's got a bunch of junk on it including the boat motor there and then the smaller one down yonder to so take a quick little look at it and it runs both of them does pretty good um, so yeah if you're thinking about getting one of these I'm laying your options over possibly some other solar panel stuff like the Harbor Freight I'd say just mm, skip it unless you just want some smaller panels I mean you got the three the plastic the casings on this is aluminum these came Amazon shipped them out fast uh, from Royal well, Energy Solar, I did, I guess. So I just bought them through Amazon. Um, UPS brought them. The, the box was open when it got there, but they survived. The panel survived, which was quite impressive, considering I've seen UPS break a flywheel for a tractor trailer somehow. I don't know, unless they chunked it out the airplane as they flew over the airport. But. Uh, it's it held up the UPS guy he was real nice he's like you want to inspect this before I go in case you know something's wrong it's I got it the box is open yeah I believe he's telling the truth he's he's been coming through here quite often and through the, the number of years and he's a real cool guy uh, but it was it was okay so glass was good uh, seems to be good quality I mean I can't compare it to other solar panels this really is the first real solar panel of any size I've dealt with, wired, played with, experimented with, and so I'm trying to decide now, you know, get more panels, should I stick with the energy, should I try some others out, you know, I definitely want to bump up the voltage when I get the MPPT charge controller so I got less line loss, and uh, as well as produce a little earlier in the day and later in the day with the, as uh, my battery bank grows, um, I might get one more battery, I don't want to wait too much longer if I do that. You want to try and keep them close to the same age. I mean, eh, I can get away. With, I think I can get away. With, and if if I do it real quick, get away with that in a couple more soon. But I don't want to wait too much longer. I get too too far apart in age. But got the yeah. I like to get some more 12 volt wire and stuff for the like the radio. I got it kind of jerry rigged right now. These little dodgy things wiring. It's all fused, but it's it's not perfect. Uh, getting you know combiner box, you know. Work on getting it upright, just on a on a tight budget. <laughs> it's like I said, it's I got the fusible links to put in there. We're both going down from the panels and up and down to the batteries and fuses on the inverter and all that other stuff. So hopefully it'll be fine, but I'd, I'd like to get some 
like a fuse block and maybe a bus bar and have it all on a circuit breaker fuse system. Because I'd like to add some more 12 volt accessories out here. But all in all, I think it's uh, the Renogy made a pretty good little little kit. If you're, so if you're looking for a small solar kit, I can tell you from 10 months, hadn't had a problem with it. And it's held up. And I think it'll continue doing its job for quite the time yet. And uh, even if you just want to stick with the PWM charge controller, I think it's supposed to handle up to 30 amps. So I could add quite a few more panels. It's a little over 5 amps a panel. So you would add quite a few more panels uh, and still stay under the 30 amps. Uh, but like I said, I just I just want to go and wire them in the series a bit. So I think so I have less line loss. I mean, that really ain't that far of a run but I just I just want to produce a little earlier and a little later the panels do real good I'm surprised they start producing as soon as they do it feels it feels like the sun comes up but I'm back in the woods there's trees there's a lot of shade on them that crosses across it's really not the most efficient solar setup it's just on a roof random it's not tilted any particular angle it's just kind of pointed in a southerly direction so considering all the negatives i think it's doing really really well uh, so i definitely have to recommend it uh for its longevity and how well it's doing considering all the bad situations uh like the shadowing and stuff like that and i mean it's i've noticed a big drop in the winter especially all these overcast days but it's another reason i want to bump up the voltage because i mean it's still producing you know in the overcast days but sometimes it's not quite up higher but then the the voltage or well the battery pulls it down so you know, MPPT would help, but so would series and my, my panels and some stuff. But anyway, I guess that's going to be the end of it. If anybody has any questions, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, I'll try and answer them. And um, just uh, my thoughts on the Renogy solar system. And so far, I'm liking it.